and of the Holy Spirit. Greetings in Christ to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. We are on the 29th week in Ordinary Time, Tuesday. The Church celebrates today the Feast of St. Luke, the Evangelist. Our Mass presider today is Rev. Father Louis Punzalan, SVD. Our celebration will now begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. There are four gospel writers, Mark, Matthew, Luke, and John. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate one of the gospel writers, one of the evangelists, Saint Luke, who died in the first century, a Syrian physician from Antioch, he was a companion of St. Paul. He is the author of one of the Gospels and of the Acts of the Apostles. And St. Luke also is the patron saint of the medical profession, of painters, of artists, of sculptors, and of butchers. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, O Lord God, Almighty, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb of God, God Son of the Father, you, you take, take away, away the, the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. us. You, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. Receive, receive our prayer. prayer. You, you are, are seated, seated at the right hand, hand of the Father. Father. Have mercy on us. For, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the, With the Holy Spirit, Spirit in, the in the glory of, of God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, who chose St. Luke to reveal by his preaching and writings 
the mystery of your love for the poor. Grant that those who already glory in your name may persevere as one heart and one soul, and that all nations may merit to see your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, Demas enamored of the present world, deserted me, went to Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Luke is the only one with me. Get Mark and bring him with you, for he is helpful to me in the ministry. I have sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak I left with Carpus in Troas. The papyrus rolls and especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. You too be on guard against him for he has strongly resisted our preaching. At my first defense, no one appeared on my behalf, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them? But the Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me, the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures you all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all His ways, and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. We rise to honor the Holy Gospel. Spirit. A reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The Lord Jesus appointed 72 disciples whom he sent ahead of him in pairs to every town and place he intended to visit. And he said to them, The harvest is abundant, the workers are few. Ask the master of the harvest to send out workers for the harvest. Go on your way, and behold, I am sending you like lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money bag, no sack, no sandals. Greet no one along the way. Into whatever house you enter, first say, Peace to this household. 
If a peaceful person lives there, your peace will rest on him. But if not, it will return to you. Stay in the same house and eat and drink what is offered to you because the worker deserves his pay. Do not move about from one house to another house. Whatever town you enter and they welcome you, eat what is set before you, cure the sick in it, and say to them, The kingdom of God is at hand. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are four gospel writers, and we celebrate one of them today. The four gospel writers are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And today is the feast of St. Luke, the evangelist, a physician by profession from Syria. He is actually from Antioch, where the followers of Christ were called Christians for the first time. Luke was a disciple of St. Paul, a companion, a friend of Paul. And Luke is known as the author of the Acts of the Apostles and of the Gospel of Luke. He has been identified with Paul's Luke, the beloved physician. As I have said, he was a medical doctor by profession. He was a convert to Christ. It is believed that Luke was born a Greek and a Gentile, but according to the early Christian historian Eusebius, Luke was born at Antioch in Syria. As a close friend of Paul, Luke was with Paul in his last days. After writing those famous words to Timothy, the Apostle Paul goes on to say that only Luke is with me. It is Luke who remained with Paul until the end. We do not know what happened to Luke after the martyrdom of Paul. The reports of Luke's life after Paul's death are conflicting. Some early writers claim that Luke was probably martyred. Others say he lived a long life. Some say he preached the gospel in Greece, others in France or Gaul. But according to a fairly early and widespread tradition, Luke remained unmarried. He is said to have died at the age of 84 after settling in Greece to write his gospel and he is often seen with an ox this because it is the symbol of sacrifice an ox or a calf because this is the symbol of sacrifice the sacrifice that Jesus made for all the world my dear brothers and sisters there are a number of Lucan features or characteristics that we can mention as far as the Gospel of Luke is concerned. I will enumerate them quickly because the seminarians have their classes and midterm exams. What are the features or characteristics of the Gospel of St. Luke? Number one. The Gospel of St. Luke is the Gospel of Forgiveness and Mercy. It is the Gospel of Forgiveness and Mercy because it, it portrays and it pictures the compassion and mercy of Jesus to the sinners, to the suffering, to the Samaritans, to the lepers, to the publicans, to the soldiers, to the public sinners, and to the uneducated shepherds. And it is only Luke who writes about the sinful woman who was caught in the act of adultery. That is why the Gospel of Luke is known as the Gospel of Forgiveness and Mercy. Number two, 
The Gospel of Luke is also known as the Gospel of Universal Salvation. It stresses that our Lord died for all people, Jews and Gentiles alike, and not just for a select Jew. As a matter of fact, the Gospel is to be preached to all peoples in all nations. He did not just to come to save the righteous, but also the sinners. The Gospel of Luke is the Gospel of Universal Salvation. Number three, the Gospel of Luke is the Gospel of the poor and the Gospel of social justice because it mentions the little people, the poor people like Mary and Joseph, like Zechariah and Elizabeth, like the shepherds, like Simeon, like the elderly woman named Anna, and he is the only one who tells the story of Lazarus and the rich man who ignored him. And Luke is the one who says, Blessed are the poor, or blessed are the poor in spirit. It is the gospel of the poor and social justice. Number four, the gospel of St. Luke is the gospel of joy because it portrays an atmosphere of joy and contentment in the early Christian community. Number five, the Gospel of Luke is the Gospel of Absolute Renunciation. It emphasizes the need for total dedication to Christ as exemplified by the story of the rich young men. Number six, the Gospel of Luke is the Gospel of Prayer and the Gospel of the Holy Spirit. It shows Jesus at prayer in different occasions and it also depicts the role of the Holy Spirit leading the church to its final perfection. Number seven, the Gospel of Luke is the Gospel of Women. It underlines the specific contribution of women in the public ministry of the Lord. And finally, number eight. The Gospel of Luke is the Gospel of the Blessed Mother because it highlights the prominent and the special role and place of Mary in salvation history. It is only in the Gospel of Luke where we will hear the story of the Annunciation, Mary's visit to Elizabeth, the Magnificat, the Presentation, the disappearance of Jesus in the temple. And it is Luke that we have to thank for the scriptural, scriptural parts of the Hail Mary because it was Luke who wrote, Hail Mary, full of grace, is spoken at the Annunciation. And blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. By her cousin, Elizabeth. My dear brothers and sisters, Luke is the gospel writer and he is also known as the historian of the New Testament. Amen. Prayers of the Faithful. Loyal friend and companion of Paul, Luke gave us a gospel rich in stories. Let us pray to the Father through the loving Savior revealed in Luke's gospel. The response will be, Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. That the church may awaken within her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. That the Spirit may guide those in the medical profession and those who assist them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. That we may actively participate in the missionary activity of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. That the sick and the handicapped may receive support and consolation from family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. We pray for our brother seminarian, Richard Polo, who celebrates his birthday today. May God, may the Lord God guide him and preserve him in his chosen vocation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. That those who have died may share in the joy of the company in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord make, make our lives resound with your good news. Let us also pray for the following birthday celebrators today. Lisa Uy Pelayo, Vanji San Juan, Eliza Tristan and Isaiah Baliklik, and for the healing of Timothy John Sinisa Garcia, Andre Enciso, Isaiah Baliklik, Rosa Kua and Violeta Davis, Rochelle Tarayao, Rolando De Jesus Jr., Priscilla Perfecto and Yolanda Lara, Gabriel De La Cruz and Jocelyn Tan and Evangeline Lasala, Manuel Chuachu, Antonio Arpilleda and Jess Palad, Joanna Sean Hamero, Miguel de Guzman and Martin Ontob. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, make our lives resound with your good news. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant through your heavenly gifts that we may serve you in freedom of heart. We pray, O Lord, so that the offerings we make on the feast day of St. Luke the physician may bring us healing and give us glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us now give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations like look to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, 
with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the chalice to the disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. And do this in my memory. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread all over the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop. Remember your servants, Darlene Madlambayan, Betty Tam, Rogelio Tam, Rogelio Tam III, Robert Edwin Tam, Ardi de los Santos, Pablo Tan, Benito Opus, Modesto Centeno, Wilson Ung Ong, and also Ezil Kashli Ragindin, Nick Edrin and Elise Ragindin, and all whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like His may also be one with Him in His resurrection. And remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, all the apostles, especially Luke, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven in the words Jesus taught us. Our Father, our Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety and fear, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. You said to the apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. 
Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Greet one another with a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sin of the world. Happy are those invited to receive Him. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar, 
may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Luke proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Renadimitz, Saint Luke. Please be seated for some announcements. Masses for our departed loved ones on October 31, November 1, and 2 are as follows 6 30 a.m., 12 15 p.m., and 6 p.m. For Mass intentions, envelopes are available inside the shrine as well as through our online Mass intentions at www.bit.ly slash Shrine Mass Intentions. Thank you and may God bless you always and in always. Good morning, my dear friends in Christ, both those who are here in the Philippines and in other countries. Allow me very quickly to acknowledge some individuals uh, who have sent the va valuable help for our seminarians this past few days. I, uh, ang unang gusto ko pong pasalamatan ay si Dr. Daniel and Lucy Yap. Dr. Yap, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pamilya. I would like also to thank Alexander and Flor Uy from Lawag and from LA. Alex and Dr. Flor, Thank you so very, very much. And of course, Rosemary Tam. Thank you so much, Rose. As well as Connie Tampinco and Connie Padua. As well as the following individuals. Eschans Bautista, Gretchen Santos, Robert Patrick Bueno, Miguel and Aaron de Guzman, Giselle May Sigaya, Cesaria Takokong, Judge Amifaith Fider Reyes, Loretta May Rosario, Michelle Apostol, Vanessa Guerra, Lourdes Repelente, April Lapitan, Manet Gravador, Virgilio Adriano Jr., Elizabeth Ong, um, Margie Maristela, Kay Eustachio, Arsenio Co. Arli Baliklik and Meg Gonzalez, as well as the Uy family. Lisa Uy Pelayo. Lisa, maraming salamat sa biyayang dadating ngayong tanghali para sa amin at sa mga seminarista. The seminarians will receive something at noontime today from the birthday celebrant Lisa Uy Pelayo. Maraming salamat, Lisa. 
And we also remember your sisters, Rosie Uigo, as well as George and Anna Uigo. Happy birthday sa inyong lahat at sa inyong tulong sa Christ the King. Thank you so very much. I would also like to continue announcing the possibilities for you to donate to Christ the King. We are posting in front of you our bank account details with Banco de Oro. The account name is uh, Banco de Oro is Divine Word Mission Seminary Inc. And the account number is 000-220-191247. Some of you did not wish to be mentioned. Their names did not wish to be mentioned. We respect your wishes and but at the same time we also thank you for your for your very kind contribution to Christ the King. And uh, we are also posting our two GCash numbers, 0967-318-9830 and 0945-743-0935. Some names I couldn't read because they remain anonymous because GCash does not indicate anymore the name of the donor. So if you are a first-time donor, please... Indicate your name, where the donation came from, so that we can acknowledge you if you want to be acknowledged, and we can also not acknowledge you if you wish to be secretly and quietly acknowledged only. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Our email address is also posted in front, ckmsdonorcare at gmail.com. I hope I did not forget anyone. If I did forget someone, I will try to remember you again this coming Thursday. Let us all rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh